little book. Hey, hey, <laughs> dumb shit. Yeah. Hey, let me hear that whole joke. Go. When a clip extend, about that action, I like when shit get intense. Far racks, then I turn it in a ten. What is up, B Squad? It's your girl, baby B. <laughs> How many of y'all miss these? freaking stories i know i missed them my damn self so. um what's up y'all here you know if you're new to my channel you hit that subscribe button right now be sure you click that bell um and follow me on all my social medias oh my gosh there are in the description below so check the description below for my social medias my instagram snapchat and my twitter okay and, and, and possibly facebook i might add that in there i don't know but as y'all can read by the title today i got a cool little story time for y'all and i my first no 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 no, no my worst. A dollar sign, dollar sign whooping. Bro, when I tell you, I never forget this whooping. I never forget. Alright? Never forget it. See, I know my stories be detailed and all real, nothing fake. I don't make none of this stuff about this stuff be real, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It takes me a minute to like think back to when and how did why and stuff why did stuff happen and certain things so that's why sometimes i'll take my time with these story time because i be having to think because i have y'all put down topics or whatever so yeah but you know how they go but anyways let's go ahead and get to the story time i know y'all want to hear me talking um okay so the worst a whooping i have ever had um i don't remember what i did i just know oh i know what i did okay i know what the <laughs> I know what I did. I know what I did, bro. So I was about, um, this is back in my hometown, like Village, Arkansas, or whatever. Um, I was living in this neighborhood. Okay, mind you, my neighborhood filled with people my age, okay? It was by a lake, or whatever. It's called Lakewood, okay? Um, yeah. Okay, so my friends, they would like sneak out the house at nighttime, like late at nighttime, right? Um, around this time, I had my little cousin with me, um, and she was staying over my house or whatever. And so, they was like, you should sneak out one night and just come running around the neighborhood with us and come hang out with us. So I was like, okay, I'll do it tonight. And the night I chose to do it, why, 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 why? So, um, I had to wait till my mama and my They was young, whatever. They, they would sleep too. Um, and I had my room to myself, right? And um, I went to that. I went to sleep. Yeah, you know, I know when they sleep good. You know, they sleep. I know when they sleep, sleep. Because I hear snoring and other stuff in the other room. And at this time, I really couldn't close my door. So I really had to be real, like, discreet and, and sneaky when I did this. So I closed my door, though. But I closed my door so we could sneak out the window. Whatever. Boy! Why did I pick? Why did I pick the summertime? You know, we got bad mosquitoes or whatever. So some mosquitoes steady coming in the window or whatever, coming through the window. Coming all through the window. And I'm getting bit during this process trying to get out the window. I let my cousin go out the window first. And then I go out the window. I had to leave it up. I had to leave the window up a little bit so we can get back in. So I can slide them all up and then we can get back in. So I'm letting mosquitoes in the house, right? Okay. My dumb self letting mosquitoes in. And so we both go out or whatever. We was supposed to meet up with my friend and these other boys or whatever that I grew up with. Like, my, I ain't never did nothing with none of these niggas, and I still have it to this day. But these are my homies right here, okay? Like, today they my homies, and I grew up with them, so, you know. But anyways, I snuck out, and we went with them or whatever. And we just went, did some foolish stuff. <laughs> we really wanted nothing with them, we really did. But in the midst of it all, my neighbor, my next door neighbor, was watching us climb out the mother of my window. And so we had to go back. So we got to walk back to the house. 
by my next door neighbor's cousin and he was watching us the whole time and I did not know that, okay? He was watching us the whole time. Letting mosquitoes in the house, mind you, okay? Um, man, me and my cousin go back to the house. Um, my next door neighbor's friend, my friend, my friend let us, like he helped us get back in the window or whatever. So first he helped my cousin, my little cousin get back in the window and then he helped me get back in the window. Now what it looks like to my neighbor So we get back in the room, whatever. This is still all in the house. Wide and the, the flying blood out of me, all right? <laughs> like sucking all my little blood out. I had mosquito bites everywhere. I'm like, dang, bro. But luckily, my mama and my stepdad didn't wake up and come check stuff out and was wondering why the mosquitoes were biting. But it was cold in that house, so basically, I guess they were. And so the next morning come, the next freaking morning come, right? Next door neighbor. Oh, so, so happily pops up at our house and knocks on the door and asks to speak to my mom. Man, I kid you motherfucking not. This nigga sit up here and just tell her everything that happened that night. Me sneaking out the house, like me, all that, everything. Bro. Freaking living room and act and question me in front of him. I was, I was, I was, my heart dropped. It sunk. Sunk. Cause I knew what time it was gonna be. Boy, boy, boy. She snatched my phone, took my phone out of my hand, told me, told me to get out of, go to my room, right? Got all my clothes. Told my little cousin to. Wait her turn because she was next. She went into the other room. Into, you know. And so I got had to get out all my clothes, nigga. Everything. Ass nigga in front of my mom. You know how you know how embarrassing that is? I don't want to be seeing nigga in front of my mom. Anyway, let me tell y'all what she grabbed. She grabbed a stenching cord. A cord! Man, next thing I knew, I was laid across the bed, screaming, yelling for my life. She must go back, back, back. What the fuck you doing? You're not the motherfucking get house at night time. Them mosquitoes, that's why all them, them mosquitoes up in the house and blah, blah, blah. Back, back, back. All on my, ooh. Oh, yeah, what I say, what I say. I thought I was going to die that day. I thought I was going to die that day, man. I had, when she was done, bro, I had whips all on my arm, on my legs. I was bleeding in some spots. I'm talking about then she came back and black, black, black again. I'm talking about boy. I said in my head, I would never do anything else ever in my life again. Period. I would never sneak to do anything. That was the last ever. I think that was the last baddest whooping I ever got. That's the only one I can remember. That was the worst. She whooped me so hard with the extension cord, bro. Mad, furious, screaming and yelling, asking me questions like I can answer them, mother. I can't answer. All I can do is cry right now. All these like, okay, okay, okay. I won't do it no more. <laughs> That's all I can. All I can do when you hit me with that freaking extension cord, boy. When I say I was the best child from then, I can do anything else. Like I never got in trouble at school or nothing. I was never a bad student in school. I was always a good student. I was a a b unenrolled student every year but like i was kind of like influenced by my 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 um friends around the neighborhood so that kind of got me in trouble that's the only thing really that really got me in trouble throughout my childhood was them doing shit doing shit i know i ain't had no business doing right and so after i got that whooping i just learned my lesson like man i'm not doing none of this shit no more this shit ain't worth it and i'm not gonna even get my ass beat motherfuckers and asking me it's cool what happened to me oh baby i i um i um burnt myself with the water because <laughs> once i i know i wanted to tell goddamn dhs on my mama boy i wanted to go snitch i wanted to be about that house i was so mad she hit me that hard with that snitch i'm like man this is abuse this is child abuse don't take all this
but hey, it molded me into the person I am today, though. I'm a very intelligent, smart person. Um, I don't really just like, you know, do anything. Well, when I was in high school, like, I don't really just do anything. I'm really, I'm really a good person, really good person, but like, I just was influenced by my friends back then in the neighborhood. They got me in hella trouble all the same time, so it is what it is. But I think my mom's doing all the stuff she did, because I have grew up to be the most Give it a thumbs up, comment down below, be sure you subscribe and hit that bell to get my channel. Follow me on all my social media, they are in the description below. If you like this story time, please let me know. Uh, comment any other story times y'all want to see down below. You know I got y'all. I got y'all more than I got myself. Um, but yeah, I love you, B-Squad. Damn, my neck so cold. Got BBS all on my stones. And all of my pockets, I'm swole. Just hopped in the floor and I'm gone. I got your whole playing my songs. Young nigga back to the bone. Young nigga put one in your dome. Young niggas pull up with it.